In the last video, I showed you how to download your images from an online software called PhotoP, which is like Photoshop editing, but it enables you to um, edit without having to pay out the cost of using Photoshop. So if you remember from the last video, we saved it as a Photoshop file and it appeared at the bottom. And we also decided that we were going to export it and export it as a JPEG. And again, we just saved it. And it appears on the bottom here. Now I can click here. And if I choose to show in folder, it will open my downloads and I can see the work there. But let's just say I don't want to open it in my folder, but I want to put it straight onto my digital portfolio for my GCSE or for my coursework. So how do we do that? Let's have a look and find out. I've created a GCSE folder here, which is a fictitious one, and I've called it my digital editing evidence using photo P and I'm going to try and drag these two into my file. So this one is a JPEG and this one is a Photoshop file. And let's see what happens if we move them and just drag them across into here. So I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to call it uh, attempt to save one. So it's my, it just helps me keep track of what it is I'm trying to do. And then I don't want a text box here. I don't need it. So I'm going to try and open my JPEG. So I'm going to pick it up by using the left hand button on my mouse, and then I'm going to drag it and that works fine. So a JPEG is a doable thing. But then what happens if we try and save a Photoshop file? So I'm going to move that across to here, exactly the same movement and let go. And I get this, the image format is invalidated or it's unsupported. So I now know for attempt to save one, that a JPEG, a JPG works fine, but a PSD, a Photoshop file will not drag and drop. Now there might be another way of doing it, but I'm gonna have a play about and see. I can go back to PhotoP and I can try some of the other options that it gave me. So I've got PSD, but I was also able to JPEG, PNG, GIF, PDF file, and then I've also got these down here. So I could, for my own satisfaction, try doing it in different ways. So if I drop it as a PNG file, what happens? And it will go through the same process and it'll drop to the bottom. And I can go back to this folder and I can try and I can drag and drop across here. And I now know that a PG, PNG file works so I can come back here and JPG and um, a PNG file both work fine. So by doing it this way, it means that I've got some evidence of my learning, but I've also got some evidence to use for my future work to work out how to use PhotoP as a nice free digital editing app that will enable me to save my work so that I can take it to school, I can put it on my portfolio and I can share it somewhere else. I hope that's been useful for you and you can use that in order to help you upload your work to an evidence format, which is using Google Slides.